Jim, I know a lot of quarterbacks these, these days can run as well as throw, obviously. When, when you're out there guarding someone on the perimeter, how, how much more aware do you have to be with a quarterback who can kind of run like that and extend plays and put you in a situation where you're covered for a while? Uh, it definitely brings up my awareness for sure. Uh, just It just puts in my head that i got to stay on my man for a longer duration of the play. Eric, then Adam. Good start of the season for you. I, I know it's about team success, but how much confidence are you playing with right now in this defense? I'm playing with a lot of confidence right now, I'll be honest. Uh, I mean, in the plays that Coach Banks, like the situations that he's putting us in, like it just adds to the confidence for sure. You've shown that you belong at this level already. Was there ever like a hint of doubt or curiosity before you played this season that I want to make sure that I can play at this level, or did you, were you always certain? Uh, I mean, I felt I could play at this level like always. Like coming out of high school, I thought I should have been here. Casey. When did you fully start to feel secure in this Tennessee defense and just feel good about it, feel good about yourself and how you were playing in it? Was it before the season or was it during these first four games? Uh, I'd say before the season. And then uh, playing through these first four games, it just kind of solidified and just made me feel way more confident in the uh, defense. Eric? How would you assess, you know, we, we, I know you're playing on the opposite side, but uh, in film study, how Ricky's doing, and, and then the secondary together, do you guys, how are y'all, how would you assess the performance so far of the four games? I think everybody's done like an amazing job. Like our communication, like has been so good, like uh, pre-snap, post-snap, when we see something, we'll tell each other, just try to make sure we clean it up, but the communication between us is elite. Patrick. Ronnie, you been back in the spring, back to camp, you talked to you kind of about your background as a receiver. When did your mindset kind of shift to being a cornerback? And then were there any guys that you went and tried to study and watch as you kind of made that transition to maybe kind of take some pointers on whether NFL guys or guys you in Texas or anybody in the team? Yeah, I'd say, uh, I mean, my mindset changed for me when I got my, like my freshman year uh, at Oregon State. But once like I was in that position, I started, I say I started watching uh, Jalen Ramsey. Uh, I mean, he's, uh, he's, I've kind of tried to base my game off him. Uh, I just think he's like the top corner in the league, so I just want to be like that. You said you think he's the top corner in the league. Yeah. What does he do well that you want to emulate? His ball, his ball skills, when the ball's in the air is his, uh, his man, man coverage, like he's just a super sticky coverage guy. And he's just, you don't really see him in bad positions ever. Coach Banks said when you got to campus, he was a little taken back by your size. He was bigger than he thought he would be. Um, and you're, you're kind of tall for a corner, I guess, but you're not an enormous guy. Had anybody ever like mentioned that as an asset, that your size is an asset? Yeah, uh, just tackling, uh, and, like bringing guys down. It's definitely a plus as far as my size. And, and holding on bigger receivers too, but. Awesome. Does it give the team and the defense maybe in particular a little more juice knowing, you know, let's go get this one this week and then we get to come home for a month? You know, you have four straight home games with the bye week sandwich in between. Uh, you said, does it like get us hyped? Yeah, just know if you can go get this last road game, yeah. then you're home for a month. Yeah, it definitely feels good knowing being in Neyland, uh, like the home advantage we'll get. So, like, we're definitely excited about that. So, Rob, why do you think you guys are playing so well defensively? Our communication and the bond that we have, uh, I think we're just super tied in together, and it just shows on the field. We'll finish with Paige. Tim Banks said that you're really consistent in your preparation. You practice really hard. How rewarding is it that that's translating onto the field and, you know, the defensive unit's team will have success? Uh, it's definitely very rewarding. Uh, it's just letting me know I got to stay to it. Uh, don't change up the way that I'm preparing. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you.